All right, welcome to Portal 2. Going to be having a speedy rundown playthrough of uh, the campaign. That's it. I'm not going to do the whole campaign today, uh, but... I forget how the chapters are layout. I think we're at least going to get through, like, three of them before I call it quits today, so... That's the plan. So, yeah, yeah. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50... Days. Oh. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down, down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There's a frame painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I didn't look if you suspect look staring at it. art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Please return to your bed. Time to go to sleep. Time to go to sleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This is Hello? Anyone in there? Get the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject. Are you going to open the door? Any time? Sure. Or her right. Oh, ah! Ah! Oh, God. Oh. You look, um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm actually yeah, I think I'm fine. fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I can't cr crouch anymore. Oh no. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't get alarmed, alright? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center starts waking up the bloody subject. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, oh, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be careful for? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects. Supposed to be charged on. Why? It's close. Can you see? I'm not gonna make it through. We got a space. Uh, just, just not get through here. I, I just not concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Listen, we 
get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's my mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Get a tactical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. You are probably in no fit states to run this See ya! Oh, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Let's go. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance oh. beyond our control. Nice. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done. Yes. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right. Let's go, boys. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. All right, we going in, boys. We going into aperture laboratories or laboratories. <laughs> this is kind of like a bathroom. If you feel liquid running down your neck, huh? relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. Ooh. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, great. Hello. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Uh. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hmm. He didn't finish his fight, but. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it. Oh, maybe it fell off. Do you want to go have a quick look? It's alright, no go on, just have a look about it. Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you ask that first. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour. Then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead.
Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. It's very nice of them. All right, all right, all right, all right. Getting through the prologue of the game. We're gonna solve so many puzzles. Puzzles in the aperture laboratories. Yeah. All right. This next test is very dangerous. Ooh. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two. One. Oh. I did enjoy that smooth jazz, it was pretty good. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Yeah, not much in here, huh? I do like the sound effects of the portals hitting all that metal. Sounds pretty cool. Alright. No goofy taglines on this one. Let's keep heading down into the ground. That makes you wonder like how big this whole facility is. Because it's big, but how big is it? If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas where Ever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Easy. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's comforting. There will always be a friend. Always a friend in Aperture Laboratories. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. No worries, there's still gravity, it seems. 
Alright, so we gotta get in the box. Easy. Easy. Look at that. Boom. Easy. Alright. Let me just do the same thing again. So. No problem. If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. be a little detail, but who knows? Good work getting this far, future star. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. The society is devolved. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. Oh. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Heck yeah. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, don't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Okay. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high! It's it's too high, isn't it really, that? Alright, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's, uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One! Catch me! Catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow! I... am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Okay. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not- I'm not joking. Will you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel! I open. While you're back with this turn. Uh-huh. Okay, and off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just, hold on. No, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um... Just follow the rail, actually. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Mm. If you wanna just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Sweet. So if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be 
be a tremendous time to voice them. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't. She's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. All we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. There was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, I'll story you up to you. Don't touch me. Alright, can't put him in there. Bummer. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This action. Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held! You, that's a great job. You've applied the grit, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Walking through a series of ah! railings. Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. I do like an abyss. It's comforting. This is the main breaker room. Look for a Ooh. switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, alright? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A, 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 Wait, did I do big, did I do big, start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Hello? Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been, you good? I've been really busy being dead. After you murdered me. You did what? Oh yeah. Ah! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! I forgot oh, I did no, that. No no! no! Ah! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up. You must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Oh yes, we completed the prologue. Oh! <laughs> we did it. Dora would be proud. We explored Aperture Science, and we went into a hole filled with death, and we did it. <laughs> Woo! I can't control anything. It's like a cutscene. Here we are. Boom. The incinerator room. Nice. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. I wanted to grab the companion cube, I'm so mad. Yo, can I gra grab the companion cube though? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I want to see if I can get the companion cube, because that would be, that would be pretty freaking sweet. I'm sure you can't, but... Here we are. Okay, let me save. Okay.
Incinerator room. Let's go. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me. They didn't get completely go, 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 go. burned when you go, go, go. threw down here. Go, 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 go. The dual no. portal device no, should happening. be around here somewhere. Dang. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. There it is. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started the testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last few minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I, I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again. Forever. You know, if you've done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exactly then. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Man, I need like a back massage. I actually have a back massager in my room. I feel like I should probably use it sooner rather than later. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't need to do any of that. That's nice. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. Oh. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. That must have mean I did really good. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. No, I'm not discouraged. I want to keep testing. Point. If it makes you feel any better. Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. 
Huh. Oh. Well then. Let's see. We need a cube. Where though? Oh. Duh. Okay. Um. I don't think standing on this platform does anything for me though. Because I could just as easily jump back on it. Oh. Or not, just kidding. Alright, well that's done. And then we need to... We need to somehow continue the trail to that one. So... How am I doing that? <laughs> I didn't realize I could just... Were there two lasers? I'm confused. Oh, I guess there were two lasers. <laughs> I just assumed there was one laser. I'm funny. Alright, so we just shoot it there. Congratulations. Done. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Thanks. I really like this song. <laughs> I'm going to try to get to chapter 3, but I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm not sure. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. Sweet. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Ooh.
you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. No, I went pretty fast. Called those not very well detailed items. This next look test great. involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. Uh, it oh, was heck part yeah. of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems Ooh. when they were catapulted into space. Uh, let's the results go. were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Oh, I love going to space. Let's go. And boop. Boop. Got him. Alright. Oh. Nah. Hmm. Okay, so we need a cube. Easy. Let me just whoop. Oh. Yeah. Easy. No Here's problem. Here's an interesting fact. You are not breathing real air. Oh. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That is interesting. Seems like it would probably cost more to do that, though. <laughs> yeah, but maybe not, I don't know. Sounds like a lot more work than just, you know, getting more air. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Ooh. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the window that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. That's not where I meant to jump. That is not where I meant to jump. I jumped at the wrong place. Let's see what the next test is. Oh. Oh, advanced aer aerial face plates. Mm -hmm. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. That'll be fun. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. All right. Boop. Save. Boom. Dunzo. Okay. Alright. So... We need to go to... The secret place. Which I don't remember exactly how you get there. So, so I'm just gonna solve this like a normal person. First. Just kidding. I lied. There it is. So we wanna go there. What? Oh. Okay. Uh, well, I already messed up, so. <laughs> already messed up, so I gotta go back. We gotta go back. Alright, so let's at least get that one out of the way so we don't know what to do it when we're going around. Haha. Eh? <laughs> Smooth Jazz fails. I do like Smooth Jazz though. Thing is... I don't know. What does it all mean? Illuminopoly confirmed. There's just this random yellow box. Can't even pick it up. That is disappointing. Using the computer to heat up some beans and coffee.
can hear him through the walls. Kinda sounds like Kermit. Spoopy. There you go. See you, Kermit. Alright. So we're back into it. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Music player didn't break, did it? Nah. I'm trying to remember if the disc does anything. It probably doesn't. But... Who knows? The ball... Whatever. Uh. We're gonna take them both with us. Sick remix. I don't think there's anywhere to put this, anyways. Just slip the disc under the door. Oh! <laughs> I don't think this disc does anything. It'd be cool if it did. Wait, I don't, I don't believe this actually does anything. Which sucks, because it totally should have. But I'm pretty sure this does. Ammo. This is my favorite station. It's a pretty good station. There you go. Now that's our new channel. It is getting a little annoying, but I'm going to keep it with me. Because it's important. Oh, wait. is a chair. Uh, I don't remember seeing a button. Oh. There's the button. Um. Oh. Duh. Check this out. I don't even need it. I don't even need it. Watch. This is going to be epic. Bam. Let's go. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. Oh. And I'm sorry. You <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Oh, that's so nice of you. At least you care enough for my mental health. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna call it a day, I think. Probably do a stream later. Not this, though. Something else. Consciences are more easily startled by loud noise. Nah, I'm good. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, Ooh. just an interesting science fact. It's the kapoo poo poo Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? Wow. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Wow, you're... You're such an a-hole. Oh, never mind. You're not an a-hole. Oh, no, I fizzled that one too. Oh my god. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worth. Bye, bud. I'm happy to get rid of them. Yeah, stop doing that. This companion cube is my friend. I'll be back for you, my love. Going up. Okay. Well, that didn't really do much for us, but it's okay. Just do that. And then we... Whoop. And there we go. And then the companion cube, our, our good friend, is back with us. You know, like in that subtle remix of the... What, I don't even remember the name of the song. Whatever the ending credits song was from Portal 1. They're doing a slight remix of it in the background of this level music. It's pretty good. Alright, so... We're gonna have to do some crazy jumps here to get across this chasm. With the companion cube. We cannot leave our boy the companion cube here all by itself. We don't we don't go like that. Unless this is actually the end theme of this game, or it's both. I don't know, because it kind of sounds like the end theme of this game actually. But maybe they're like very similar. I don't really remember very well. But still, nevertheless, really cool. A little added bonus audio in this game is just, just top notch. Um, so gotta jump again. Easy. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. Uh -huh. This one's broken. Don't take anything with you. Yes. 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 Ha <laughs> ha. I want to cheese the system. Yes. Let, let's go. Yay. Hey. I think that one was about to say, I love you. I'm not a well. sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I love that cube. Rest in peace. Goodbye, my love, forever. I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye. Alright. I'm stopping here. I'm gonna save. Get a safe state. And yeah. So anyways.